Welcome back to Traz and to Riveri, video number 255 post game so far. Yeah. Um, we're at the last one, the final string, forward, sword, and hand. Huh. So, uh, yeah, it makes sense. All these three has been happening after Traz and to Riveri, and we're going to move on to Calvert. So, so you have to view these two in order this to show up. So, well, here we go. This might be another long video. I apologize. So. Let's see what happens here. Man. Who is this? I cannot accept. It's not one to this. Huh. Veteran Bracer. Zin Zapak. I have no clue, but we'll see. You gotta resign yourself to... Truly, so again, um, if you guys are new watching this, new viewers, I, again, I've never played the Trails of the Sky games yet, so I wish though back then <laughs> I have neither the experience That's worthy of an A rank. I cannot accept your recommendation, huh? Bracers with A rank being the highest. I thought it was uh, I thought it was S is the highest, but being on the highest on paper, well, at least because, dude, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, you know, there was a he, but he didn't want to accept it though. So, His members are facing organization as such. Ranks are the badge of honor to be worth. Worn with pride. Man, in six months. A newcomer. Absolutely not. So after turning down my first recommendation, a second one. From the guild's headquarters. Huh, and Laman. Huh, Zen. By the... the promotion I'll be neck deep in the same okay you're a one-two punch beauty and bronze I'm trying to lay low lost cause <laughs> award from the film festival jeez man I really want to play Child of the Sky so I know these other characters like Zinn for example and Do such showing a little more decorum. Huh. That's not funny. Jeez. But I'm a bracer, not an entertainer. Alcoholic. Huh. <laughs> Getting off topic. This is why the headquarters are desperate for me to becoming an A rank bracer. Man, already. See the logic behind it. Let's see. Bony has beefed up our economy this year. All kinds of new investments are pouring in from across the continent. Huh. Man, increase in Jaeger activity, huh? <laughs> Mafias. What? It's gonna get worse from here, huh? 
why Laman wants to up the security here. We're promoting our rising star, which is you. Uh, who? The name? See, that's a good PR for the guild. Isn't there? Yeah, Jeez, you've been recommended for S rank, haven't you? What the heck? So if you know better, you turn having an S rank in Calvert. I'd like to hear it. What the heck? Just don't think I'm up there with someone. Yup, like Cassius Bright. Jeez. This isn't even an official rank, but even if it was, just look at me. I think a guy like me is pictured perfectly. Yeah, Cassius Bright, he should be in an S rank. I mean, there's one more. Someone, uh, Divine Blade of Wind, he should be an S rank too in the in the, the cross spell. But again, he didn't want to accept it. <laughs> I think you have the skills, achievements, and it could be one, yes. Quick response. Point made. I can't push. Huh. A routine meeting. Open request. It's better to stay like this. I played and become someone. High school. Fears were unforgettable. It's just wishful thinking. In my hand. Oh, it's now empty. Oh, uh, nobody. I mean, you gotta do something. You gotta find your path. I grew unrelenting and following the new path I chose for myself, ignoring my family's awe, uh, object. Motivations had changed. However, I no longer possess the girlhood desires of becoming something more. Of becoming someone. Man. Just keep moving on. Man. So who is she? This music's familiar. Like I don't know, it just never mind. Which uh Wimsco wing familiar bartender? So he was a tall of simple man living his own rules. So never helping to others. He reminded me of much of the Crossbell City branch. Oh yeah, that guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, M Mikhail or something? I forgot. Uh, what's his name? My bad. The guy who wears the pink. Uh... <laughs> Jeez. Or, I don't know. My bad. The place was nearly empty today. So I sat down on the counter. The usual, sweetheart. Hey, she's a coffee person. And a light snack. This was not a coffee and snacks kind of day. I wanted something with alcohol. Wait, what? <laughs> Even beer will do. Jeez, uh, Sarah would like that. A <laughs> beer? Hmm. Elegant glass. It was a little more than <laughs> beer. Yep, cocktail. Composed of two colors. Clear blue and a price of saffron and a calming jade. Oh, wow. I want to see what it looks like. Hmm. Huh. A bracer, huh? Apart from being a skilled bartender, he was also a well known informant. Connected to the guild, the press, and 
the criminal underworld, but he was very careful never to overstep his bounds. One. Huh. Found him to be a valuable source when he needed. But not even, yeah, Dingo, the reporter guy, has any promising leads, yeah. Where did it get smoked out? Man, information is very important. Hmm. Also applies to the cocktail, a strong one. So don't drink it all at once. <laughs> Stark increase in illegal oh no, illegal drugs. I hope it's not that drug from uh Trails from Zero, but no, that's long gone. Not just any drugs either, but ones of the highly addictive she's dangerous variety. Uh oh, hey you, oh boy, who effectively ruled over the criminal underworld in Calvert. Yep. Ordinarily limited their nation market as part of their rules. Yeah, because uh, they did send the Hey You trading company, you know, trying to take over the, you know, in the uh, Crossbell City. But, you know, they had to go rival against first the, um, that annoying, um, Shoot, what is that name of that? I'm trying to remember now. The Ravachi, yeah, but now they're gone. And then, geez, Red Constellation and this, oh my gosh. But now, uh, yeah, they, they took over. Well, Crossbell, but. So maybe we might see, uh, you know, Shao and this kid. Um, yeah, Shao, that's his name in. Chaos Supreme, jeez. Number of criminal groups rebelling against these carefully. Damn. Connections on two missing people. Ten. A boy and his younger sister. What the? They simply left the house one day and had not been... Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah, I don't think they run away. They, like, got kidnapped or something. Huh. Jeez. A drug trade. Sorted in the oh my gosh, drug trafficking and what the heck. Especially the worst one was human trafficking, you know, the like what happened in Trails from Zero, like you know, what Kia, like yeah, geez man. But you know, Robachi didn't know like what the heck was happening, but so with each passing second, the odds of the children being returned unharmed were dropping oh zero. Nothing to do with criminal underworld at all. Jeez. Calvert has more problems. That's so dangerous. Throwing around made in action. There was no evidence to go on. Man, they need Lloyd. <laughs> Can you imagine Lloyd had to go in Calvert to help out the investigation or something? But no. His place is in Crossbell. Possibly arrest the suspicious people on site and make them talk. Violation of the guild's code. Huh. So the Bracer Guild. I sought to be an ally. People's first and foremost. Okay. Criminals like to obtain evidence was out of the question. Jeez. So if only this strict adherence to our code.
Man, it was the ultimate in past. Oh, familiar, familiar face came to mind. So he was a childhood friend with wait, blue tinged unkept hair. Though he had lost contact one another some years before. He won the city as a, suddenly as he had left it. So I believed. Huh. <laughs> what does that idiot think he was doing? What the heck? So he walked out of my life without warning and walked back in such a same. What the? Okay, I'm getting confused here. It was almost too much bear to bear. So he gave rise to many concerns as a bracer and as a friend. And the one that bothered me most was... Uh-oh. Do you have any idea how worried I was about him? How worried I am about him? Irritation, Billy. I took a large gulp of my cocktail, but the alcohol only fanned the flames of anger burning in my heart. Oh, they burn brighter and brighter still, becoming a dazzling white that pro projected countless images of the past. Man. Every different emotion to all together. Why did you leave me? Ooh. You still haven't moved on. I just have a few choice words I'd like to say. Oh man. Childhood friend of both myself and I was over, and someone followed a remarkably different career path from either one of us. Damn. I don't see him. I already have his address by now, surely. Expect that kind of response. You make it sound so romantic. What? Struggle with expressing. It does. Here, how about a toast? Well, she already drank her drink quickly, but well, at least you have forgotten. I can handle my liquor. Uh, just fine. Thank you very much. Jeez. Man, this is new to me, you guys. Both of our jobs, and it, trying tasks to even guess the times. Heard word you turned down, huh? Becoming an A rank bracer again. Oh, yeah, the uh, crossbell, um, yeah, intel, yeah, crossbell intelligence divisions. Man, what sucks about crossbell? Like, what the heck? If you remember that daydream. Like, they sent spies, the Crossbell Intelligence Divisions, into Erebonia during that time, you know, the daydream of uh, Lecter, you know, and with Milium. Jeez, what the heck? Like, betrayed the uh, Lecter. I mean, they've been spying, like, Erebonia a lot. I mean, especially in Charles of Cold Steel 3, for example, like the Hercules group the, with the Ramda. Jeez. So, anyways, um, the Bracer Guild will focus on protecting civilians. Yeah, that's their job. But while the Crossbell 
um, intelligence division focused solely on needs on the president. Man, I have a nasty feeling about the president, the new president of Calvert. Um, geez, I forgot his name. My bad. The groups were neither enemies nor allies. They simply had very different goals. Yeah, that's the goal I was trying to think of. Like, what what, what are they doing? Like, what's their goal? Like, jeez. We'll find out in the next game. Tell him to accept the offer. However, he paused before resuming. I'm becoming. Jeez. The man, a new hero. That is much is clear. Don't mind, I have something that will be interesting. To see children. Hmm. So we've identified the group that made the district their turf. Evidence of that taking place here. I couldn't believe it, man. On a silver platter, he had given me just cause to act. Such a mission. Huh. I felt it. It was I was on the verge of rekindling my girlhood desires. Jeez. Follow life there where it was taking me. Stebus devi deviation terrified me, man. Staying idle, man. My core went well. Pick up the sword and rebel against any whispers or weakness, and I played the part admittedly on the surface. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, what's going on? Wait, the, as I sidestepped to the... Oh, uh, shifted my center of the gravity, unleashing a flurry of slashes against my first ball, using that momentum to thrust both myself and my blade toward my second. What's going on? Too low. Ranking mobsters fell to the ground. Uh-oh. They were members of the... What the? A mafia has been chasing, and right now, I was in the thick of their den operations. Oh boy, this information was vague. However, we still had seen several other racers agreed to be best to split our forces and attack several locations. Oh, this is during a holy cow! Based on what has transpired, it appeared my location was a uh, the lucky winner. Huh. There's the intruder. Uh oh, I've seen her before. She, she's from the paper. So two more reinforcements arrived, but I was hardly going to give them time to act and get wrecked. So I raced forward, swinging my sword as twice as I passed them. And they fell before they could even raise their weapons. Jeez. Mobsters appeared in droves. Wow, there she is. She's that bracer that would be going... Wait, what's her name? I need the name. Well, damn it. So what if the immovables here too? Huh. <laughs> Don't be chicken shit. It's one woman. We can take... Uh, I don't know about that. So they then charged me in a mass. Ten of them, huh? With more reinforcements on their way from farther inside the building. It's risky. Well, you take away for the other braces to show, but I also had to consider my waiting. Of Damn. So two options. I concluded that whatever reduced the chances of happening with the cost, or I needed to push on and settle this now. Well, I don't know. I mean, they got hostages, so you got to get in there. Because I don't know if you have time for reinforcements. Because they, you don't know what's going to happen to the hostages. So they could 
have used their numerical advantage to implement complex formation and corner me, but did no such thing. The amateurs. Oh, wow. Jeez, then they dared to believe they held a candle to Heyu's martial arts. Jeez. Soon have bigger worries. Friendly fire, ouch. Then spell my victory as I cut them down. Ooh. One down, two down, yep. Man, I wanted to see in action, but oh well. Damn. Just blitz through it. Three down, four. I would move between them while remaining ever aware of any circumstance. Spread so carelessly. So the men took up their guns with a newly alert panic strewn across their faces. Their fate was already sealed. Problems as I close the gap between us. Yep. Five, six, seven, three are out. Over half of their numbers down. Jeez, the remaining mobsters were quickly losing their will to counter. So some attacked out of the Atlantis. And accidentally attacked themselves, yeah. At this point, the battle was as good as final. Man. Continued taking them down until I was the last one standing. Jeez. Smaller groups I encountered on my way through the building. I was able to disable them with little effort. Oh, their leader. So he was a middle-aged fellow, huh? Pacing around an unpleasant, gaudy room until I entered. So he twitched in fear upon the very side of me. Jeez. <laughs> Why are you here? Where are my men? Kissing the floors. <laughs> I answered so calmly and concisely that he balked in the... Dude, that's impossible. I, I sweat my balls off to build this group from the ground up. And you're saying a girl like you tore... Jeez, so I ignored his crude language. Dude closer as I threw my sword. I sat just between his eyes. So he let us squeal. <laughs> well, I'm no ordinary girl. Yeah, a bracer. I didn't kill them. They have only been knocked out. Yep, or restrained. Seeing them are good. <laughs> yep, you'll be just waking up in prison. Shot dark and glare at his direction as the tip of my sword wandered downward to his neck. Ooh. And I have some questions for you, and you will answer them. Yeah, the hostages, the the children, the kids. The man nodded, his whole body trembling from fear. Yeah, you better. Two children, a boy and a girl, under ten years old, disappeared last month. So your people abducted them, didn't they? He nodded. I knew it. Then where were they? What did you do to them? So they were in the room farther inside. They're alive. Oh, well, they better be. I agree to sigh of relief. My most fundamental objective coming here could be fulfilled. I need to ask him more about his group. Man, this is a crappy group. I like a weaker crappy group of uh, Ravachi. <laughs> Alright, anyways. I thought it was too weak to charge up this city, but after coming across your account book, everything fell into place on behalf of someone else. Oh, aren't you? Oh, he's not going to say. So who is it then? Tell me. What the? Is it A? Is it a... What? I can't. And he just is, oh. heard a strange studying sound from outside the room. I step away from the man, my sword still firmly in hand. Crunching, scorching. What? Splattering. More sounds of these, more audible. What the heck? You feel it? We 
faded just as soon as the sun rose. I remained on guard. I stepped out of the hallway, ready to be attacked from any angle at any moment, and the sight that greeted me defied all imagination. So the mobsters I fought through mere minutes before were now nothing more than distorted. Oh! What the heck? Distorted, mutilated piles of flesh. What happened to them? Not just one or two. Every single one of them, without exception, have been reduced to bloodied mounds. What the heck? It's like a nightmare, man. Some were without heads. Others had their organs ripped out. Oh, my gosh. Now I see why I didn't want to show this. Because it would be too disturbing. So just, you know, dialogue uh, text uh, scenes here. So then there was those with... With their skulls caved in. What the heck? Pulverized brain matter. The ones with their hearts pulled and squeezed. What the heck? Each corpse was different. Bearable to look at. Yeah. The plain hallway I traversed with all due speed was now covered in sticky slime. What the heck? Slimy red. Who could have done... Some, what, a monster? Or I don't know. So awful that my free hand... Almost clenched shook from disgust. Damn. Better not let your guard down. When was it? Yeah, like, it happened that fast? Wait, no. I realized I had just made a very careless mistake. I turned and hurried back into the room I was just in. Oh, no. I was too late. I was floating in the air at the center of the room, as though some unknown force was holding him up. Uh-oh. A monstrous sword pierced through his chest. A single strike of blood dripped from his unspeak. What the heck? There was no room to believe he was anything but dead. Like all the others in the hallway, he didn't even have time to scream before his... Dude, what about the hostages? Who are you? Barked at the center of the room, trying to drown... What the heck? It's like a killing machine, man. At a glance, only the corpse and I were present. But if I strained my eyes, I could see the faint distorting space around them. Active camouflage. It was a man's voice that projected true arrogance. Oh, this is getting wild, man. Response, but... Seems to face him the slightest. No need to be spoiling for a fight. I'm simply here to take out the trash after they were careless enough to leave a trail for the... Oh, my gosh. For the Calvert, um, you know, intelligence division to follow. So, was I really talking to a, a fellow human being? I don't know, man. How could he speak? With such gruesome murders in those... Yeah, he's like a freaking monster. Are you a business partner of theirs? No. So I guess that's why he took out the leader, because he didn't want to say it, you know? Like, who is he working for? Must be for the group, the group above them. So, yeah, very good. So that's why he killed them. Damn, no mercy. He then swung his blade to slide the... Toss yep the corpse out of the side while well, all the respect of you's cigarette. What the heck? How could you treat people you worked with like this? Man, no mercy. People have have you your ears. I said nothing about taking out a person. Only trash. What the heck? The same applies to the garbage piling up in the hallway. It's been so even before they stop breathing. Man. It really sucks for those people joining that group. That mafia gang. Whatever they're called. Someone his nature was impossible. I just was calling. My body couldn't stop trembling. Yeah, he is a monster. For I knew it. Wrung into action. A swift, unavoidable strike. Ooh. But he repelled it with one vertical swing on his own. 
strange enough to tell me that his strength was well a league oh above mine the most perfect instant oh this is getting interesting here the story here man who is he what is he the act of camouflage did nothing to hide a monstrous nature of his uh, sword either silver and the black of an unholy fusion of darkness and light as if chaos itself dwelled within its very blade holy shit it was no common weapon extremely slim uh what about the hostages the the kids are they in the room like what he said at the same time my instinct was screaming at me i could not allow him to leave charge again attacking him from the front wasn't going to work well go for it but he still block it yep he blocked that attack just as a little effort jeez Ooh. damn <laughs> holy cow i showered him with the flurry of them in each one Man, I wanted to see what it looks like, but again, they, I don't think they want to show this disturbing, uh, you know what I mean, but I finally reached my physical limit. I darted in a new direction, attacking him from behind, put my very soul into one overwhelming attack directly at his rear, so I could only just make out the camouflage distortion. I got him. Ooh. However, the second I become sure that victory within my grasp, Carved a great arc through the air. The ferocious spinning slash. Damn. Able to instantly defend myself against the blow. But the force of it sent me flying backwards. Yeah, he is damn strong. Direct hit, but my body shook from now. Being able. Man, it's time for you to retreat, man. But I don't know. Cancel out its massive weight. I forced myself back to my feet and glared at his form. The difference between us was night and day. Yes. Much like a master of martial arts who understood the true nature of all things. Damn! So, not before speaking. So what? So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you guys. Unfortunately, I'm going to end the video. I'm going to stop right here. So I'm going to make another upload. Um... So this is Ray on Trails into Ravari. My bad, I have to stop the video here. So uh, next time we will finish up this uh, this part of this daydream. Holy cow! And see what's gonna happen. And maybe the last video. Uh, then this next. Maybe this next video might be the final, you guys. And then that's it for Trails into Ravari, my playthrough. Uh, blind let's play. So uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. And goodbye, everyone.